How about a morning must read? This from Bloomberg View and Timothy O'Brien, who is truly expert on Trump finance. I mean that with great sincerity over decades of journalism on Trump. This is on Mr. Kushner. The president can have a financial conflict, of course, but no federal ethics laws apply to the president. The president is different. Regardless, the president is indeed in a privileged legal position when it comes to financial conflicts. Trump's advisors and relatives are not immune to those laws and others. Kevin Cirilli's on rest and recuperation, R&R &R in Sicily uh, this morning. Uh, Kevin, <laughs> what does Mr. Trump come home to at the White House, and is he going to be holding Mr. Kushner's hand? <laughs> A mess is what he's coming home to, because quite frankly, the questions, Tom, surrounding this administration and the investigations engulfing it are very much continuing while the president has been abroad on his first international trip. I can tell you that yesterday, the U.S. Senate Intelligence Committee said publicly by, in a statement with the bipartisan leadership of Senator Richard Burr and Senator Mark Warner that they have the right to subpoena any member that they deem necessary in order to carry out their investigations. And now this new report that Jared Kushner, the president's son-in-law, <clears throat> is at the center as a person of interest, yeah. so to speak, and we should note that term has no legal standing, that this could get tricky for them. And mind you, Tom, I'd also note quickly that Chief of Staff Reince Priebus and Chief Advisor Steve Bannon uh, were returned home earlier this week from the president's trip after the tour in Saudi Arabia.